Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So I'm trying something new, as you might notice. Um, I have like a webcam type thing down there now. Um, and um, I'm going to do it for a couple of episodes and then get rid of it. Um, let me know what you think of it. And then based off of that opinion, I will determine if I bring it back or not. Um, unless I have already done this on a different series. Um, in which case then, I mean, you can let me know on that series, which is the thought. Because I might pick this up and use it on my next series, just so that's a little closer. Because this is episode freaking 20-something. I think it might actually be episode 20 itself. Um, so, like, it's going to be a long... It's going to be a couple of weeks before I get a response on whether or not this, like, graphic there is good or not. Um, I'm using the face rig program. And... This is not one of their default characters. Um, it is, but it's not. I basically recolored. Um, if anybody does know anything about face rig and knows how to make, you know, a custom face rig, let me know. Because I would, like, if people like this, um, I would like to keep doing it. Um, I like having the little, like, face there. Um... I know it's kind of, you know, Kizuna Ai and, like, the other VTubers and stuff like that. But, I know people also kind of just really like, like, being able to see, like, a YouTuber's, like, reactions and things. And, while this isn't the best capture system for that, it does do decent with it. Um, which is kind of why I'm okay with, like, giving this a try, um, and going from there, because, you know, you can't, like, if I react, you can at least get a chance to, you know, see that I'm reacting or something. Um, now the, the, the issue that I do have with it is that the, like, the Kizuna Eye and stuff like that, the, some of the other, um, VTubers... Um, they have actual, like, 3D, um, models and things that, like, fully move with them, even, like, their hands and stuff. Um, this is actually, unfortunately, just a stationary image, um, that just does exactly what you see here, so. I don't know that it's the best thing, so, but, I don't know, I guess people can let, like I said, let me know what you think of it because I definitely don't have any problems with using it it's definitely cute so you get a get ever get an urge to go exploring Serena okay pretend you just want a free vacation where would you like to go judge a mega mall the old gnarled forest in a dark cave or the beach yeah that sounds wonderful I knew she would like that one Going to the old gnarled beat or the old gnarled forest. I knew she would like that, so. <clears> then <throat> I'm just gonna relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? <coughs> oh yes, it's Sunday, so everybody's like making their way around and stuff. There's Abby going in there. As the previous owners who built the altar room, we aren't religious, but we let the other towns folk use it if they want. We're hiding in here so we don't have to talk to anyone. <laughs> Makes sense to me. And here's Bubba. Or Andy, rather. Let me know if you wanna have one if you wanna borrow my Yoba text. I have detailed notes on the most popular passages. What, you don't want to borrow it? Fine. Yoba text. I love it. What in the world am I going to make for dinner? 
think she would have said something else if I had let her get to the door. News said the Ferngill Republic, an investigative agency, wants a clear-cut clear -cut forest here in Stardew Valley. The agency strongly believes that they can find magical artifacts that will turn the tide of war with the Gatoro Empire. That wizard in the tower isn't allowing them to proceed. Well, that's good. That said, I think the Gatoro Empire is in like noted in the original um like you talk to kent and he mentions the guitar empire i think don't quote me on that but i think so also i really think that like i personally think that the uh the avatar there is cute but hey what can you do and like i was able to get the eyes like, that was my biggest struggle, was getting the eyes. Because, um, I am, I'm not exactly heterochromiac, heterochromic, like the, uh, the avatar there shows. Um, I have a sort of heterochromia, though. Um, it's it's really just easier to depict me with like standard heterochromia than it is to really depict me the way that my heterochromia actually is because it's not that I have two separate colors to my eyes um like it's not like one eye is one color and then the other is a different color like what you see here um, my heterochromia, um, both of my eyes are two colors. So, like for my, um, my ID card, it actually says I have hazel eyes. But if you look at my actual eyes, I have like blue eyes, but then I have this ring of green that's like right in the middle, right around the pupil. It's really weird looking. Um... But it's, it's kind of cool. But it's so hard to properly depict that in art. Um, I just always stick with just standard heterochromia. So that's why my uh, character here has two, t two toned, two different colored, however you want to refer to it as, eyes. <coughs> so... It's neat. Cutscene? No cutscene. Okay. It just took a moment to load there, so I was like, cutscene? No cutscene. That's sad. Oh well, what can you do? Also, sometimes the face rig system tends to freeze up. Um, my camera is not the greatest. Um, unfortunately, you know, I have the monitor directly on my face. Um, and I actually wear glasses, which I could not figure out how to give this character on face rig. Um, so again, if anybody knows how to do face rig and would be willing to do that, let me know. Um, I mean, I can't exactly, you know, afford to pay anything because I don't have any money because I don't work. Like, this is literally the closest thing I have to a job right now, but, and it doesn't pay me anything, um, but, like, if it's, you know, a simple edit or something like that, you know, I don't know, I don't know anything about it, so, that did not clear that. That did not clear that. Um, that probably didn't do it either. I'm trying to clear, figure out what this is. Um, terrain features? Oh no, I tried that one already. Bushes? There they are. Bushes. That fixed it. Okay. Our bushes have been wrong all the way up till now. Wow. That's unfortunate. 
Um, it probably is about time for us to consider getting our hands on a um, coop. So let's see what the requirements for a coop are. 4,000 gold, 300 wood, 100 stone. So we have it. We just need the gold. So that shouldn't be... Wow, he really was going fast there. That <coughs> shouldn't be too hard, I think. But I'm not sure. Um, it really is just a matter of getting... The, uh, the grass, I guess. Did the music freeze up? Or am I just hearing weird things? I think I'm just hearing things. Hey there, it's good to see you. Feel free to visit us anytime you please. Um, d do you want something? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. It's a lot of grass here now because I did that reset grass thing. Like, I cleared it, and then I generated grass, and that made it, like, glitch out the grass real hardcore. Emily used, usually cooks dinner, but she makes weird stuff like quinoa. I don't even know what quinoa is. So, there's that. And there it goes again, telling me that Penny doesn't have a bathing suit. Oh, well. Like, I look over at Smoppy, the, uh, um, the Stardew modding API, and it just sits here and, is, like, everything is just, can't, uh, let, let me see if I can, um, let me pause that. Let, let me see if I can get a snap of this here. Hang on. Let me get this up on OBS. And we'll do a window capture. And we'll capture the Smappy. <coughs> I wish I had to figure out which one of these it is. There it is. So, so this is what it looks like. <coughs> Can supply image patch Burnett Penny for SVO for content patcher. Penny swimsuit character sprites to character Penny from file swim character swimsuits penny swim blue dot png doesn't exist and it just does that over and over and over and over <laughs> um also apparently there's um the the penny swim blue and the portrait swim yellow which is funny because there's also penny swim yellow and portrait swim blue and they're, they're not matching up with each other so, but yeah, that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's what the errors I'm getting. Oh, hey, that's Sam. You see hot air balloons shifting over the sea? You'll know that summer's in full swing. Totally missed what, um, Vincent there said. Oh, well, no big deal. Probably wasn't anything too major anyway. Alrighty. So... The other thing is that, like, when you see me looking this direction, like, I'm still looking, like, it shows me still looking at the camera, but I'm actually looking all the way over at my second monitor. What should I do on such a warm, lazy day? Any ideas? So, that's another weird thing about how this works, so... It would probably work better if I had an actual 3D model, but I don't, so... Ooh, sweet peas. Anything I can collect, really. Because I've just realized that I don't think I've sold anything yet today. So I probably want to do some foraging to try and find something to sell. Because I have nothing to sell right now. So. I've already checked these cans. Both of them. That's good to see. Not really, but, you know, because it means that, hey, you can't check these cans. 
for, you know, potential stuff. How are my relationships doing? I haven't been talking to anybody, so not really anyway. Haley is getting up there. Haley and Emily are both getting up, which is good. Because they need to get both of their relationships up more. So, again, I want to do all of the bachelors. So, but we'll see what happens, you know. The other thing about this particular, like, graphic is the fact that, um, like, my hair is actually a lot longer than that. And it would be nice to have long hair instead. But this particular character that I did the graphic editing with did not have long hair. So this was about the best I could get. This is an easier time of year for me. I don't have to worry about staying warm. Plus the fruits of the wild are growing everywhere. You know, you say that. But I'm having the worst time foraging. <laughs> like nothing is growing anywhere it feels like. I'm having the worst time doing any foraging. So. And that is unfortunate in my opinion. It kind of sucks. I really need to get better foraging going on. Oh, that's literally just a bush. Um, I guess I can cut down some of this grass now. Start collecting some hay. Don't want to cut it all down, but I do need to start collecting hay. And I've literally been saving all of this tall grass for when I got my silo, so now they have one. There's really no reason for me not to go through and start knocking grass down. I wish I had the the glow ring or whatever it's called. The one that just like emits light around me. That would be nice. Well that seemed pretty productive in my opinion. And get some of the grass that's down here too. And again we don't need to sleep, though I might sleep just because um, I haven't visited the spa. So once I finish cutting down more of this grass, I'll probably just go to bed. Um, which seems pretty good for the episode. Um, because then we might have enough time to do another day before the, ep before the episode is over. So I'm just going to go in a straight line here and cut all this. And then just kind of clear out this area. And then... I guess I'll get a little bit of this stuff too. I guess I'll get all of this. This is fine. Um, well, there might be more... Nope, there's not a lot of grass here. That said, I am probably... Uh, actually, I'm probably not getting anywhere near full on my silo. Just because of... Um... Like how much the silo can hold. I'm just gonna go up like this. Just kind of get that last bit there. There we go. How's my silo doing? How much hay we got? Oh, neat. I did actually almost fill that up. Nice. Alright. I definitely didn't realize I had gotten that much hay. So I'm just going to kind of square that out. There we go. And now we can go to bed because it's 1.50. And if we didn't have the mod, I would be passing out right now because it's now 2 o'clock. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, hit the hay at this point. Um, go sleep for the night. And we might get another day out of it, but if we don't, that'll be fine. I only got 95 gold. That's unfortunate. 
It really is unfortunate. I mean, I didn't sell much of anything, so... It's really not too much of a surprise. I, like, got nothing out of that, so... We'll get more stuff eventually. So... <sighs> Getting started each season really is kind of difficult, to be honest. So... We'll get there. We will. We've got some products being made. Like hot pepper jelly. That does not sound appealing. Just saying. <coughs> hot pepper jelly does not sound appealing at all. Like, I usually like hot stuff. But that does not sound good. I guess I could have done... Three buys along the way down. Oh well. And I guess we'll have to see how the farm goes here. Definitely could have gone down from up here. Whoops. Oh my god, go down! This is, again, another reason why I do like having the controller better. Um, because it's just whatever direction you're facing, whatever square you're in, is where it points. And it is where it waters. So, but... I'm getting used to the mouse controls again, and I'm going, I don't know that I want to go back to the controller. So... Because it is nice being able to just, like, mass plant and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think if I go down from the, um, the, the hops up there, I should be able to get most of everything in a 3 by. So, or maybe not, but we'll see. I'll just try it tomorrow and find out, you know? See that one plant isn't getting watered. Do two here. And one right there. Okay. That's a lot of energy usage just now. But, oh well, whatever. We need more money. I need to forage for more things. Like, I need a lot of foraging one of these days. I mean, I guess I could go in and just do something like this. Where I open this up and I just like find the forage I hit generate um, but it does seem to generate just like whatever's there so like oh look I got three doing that you know well I got six I guess um, but that is pretty cheaty so I think I'm not going to do that <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, goodness. Ah, God, I'm choking again for some reason. I keep doing that and it's so annoying. Hey, Farmer Girl, you've got a nice tan going. The more I practice this summer, the easier it'll be for me to go pro. Then you'll be able to say you knew, knew me once. Cool, huh? Oh, palm fossil. Neat. Something new for Gunther. Finally getting artifacts growing. Nope, this doesn't allow you to uh, refresh artifacts or anything, so... Neat. I mean, I guess not neat, because I can't just sit there and keep respawning them. Get all the artifacts, but... That's a also okay, honestly. Because, again, we're trying not to cheat here by using that thing. It's supposed to just be a resource utility mod that lets you refresh things when you really need. Not, you know, what I would basically be using it for in that regard, which is hacks. <sighs> 
so this is Sophia's house. And I can see that I can walk right into Sophia's bedroom without issue here. Um, so it looks like there might be multiple people here. Unless this is using, like, something else that currently exists, but... Sophia is making Blue Moon Vineyards trademark Iridium quality grape wine. Hmm, neat. So, I mean, there's no Sophia. Um, as I mentioned before, she's not programmed in or anything. There's no sprites, no programming. This is the extent of it. Steven Galaxy Volume 5. So, just like her house is just the extent of her programming. Which unfortunately means that I can't meet her or interact with her in any way. Which is unfortunate. Um, but what can you do, I guess? I'm sure they'll add her at some point. I'm sure they're working on it right now. It's just... Adding NPCs is not easy, especially not adding five of them. So, there's some weird stuff going on here. That is not it. That is not it. Because I can see it over there. Maybe reset the bushes. All objects. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Rain features. I can make the trees dance. <laughs> That's funny. There are no fences to clear. Um, logs, boulders, stumps, forage. No, none of this stuff is these here that are in a weird location. So I'm not sure what is causing that. That's really odd. But I can make the trees dance, so that was cool. That was kind of funny, actually. I do like that I can, like, just walk around in any tall grass I can use for hay. So, like, even if I hadn't kept all that tall grass on my farm, like, I could go into the forest and collect the tall grass from there, so. And all this grass and stuff like that. So, I imagine I'm going to get full up on hay pretty quick, though. Is it 213 out of 240? So, I might even be full now because now I'm not getting any hay at all. So, I may have reached the limit. My silo may be full with all 240. That said, I have not been coming out here to Cinder Snap Forest, and I probably should be so that I can forage out here because there's probably a lot more to forage out here assuming what's his face hasn't foraged at all so I don't know if they do I don't know if Andy does actually forage anything ooh like a little campfire here oh hi hats so Wester and good old cap <coughs> yeah I'm not getting either of those there's a little ribbon that we can get eventually, and I'll get that one when we can. But the, the hats are earned via achievements. Um, every time you unlock a new achievement, you can get hats. Or you um, like Every time you get a new achievement, you unlock a hat. So, it's kind of neat how that works. So, and none of this, I really don't think any of this grass is supposed to even be here anyway. I mean, I guess it did generate here when I hit the generate, so I guess it's supposed to be and just hadn't. But I don't know. I don't know how all that works exactly. 
Like, I don't know how, like, each map is coded to, like, where the trees go and where the grass grows and where the bushes go and that kind of stuff, so. I'm definitely not getting any more hay, so I'm pretty sure that my silo is full. I'll have to get another one. Um, because I want to have both silos for... Um, when winter comes, but for now I need to focus more on just getting like a coop or something like that and go from there. So, but that's all right, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get, we'll get there eventually. I'm sure that that was stuff that had grown and not stuff I just hadn't chopped, but don't care. Chopped it now. 240 out of 240. Very good start <coughs> to the hay. Very good start. Especially getting all of that like in basically one day. So, ooh, I need another. I need two more tappers now. Neat. I'll have to consider that. Palm fossil needs to go to Gunther. Whenever he's around. Um, I do have these. I could give George the leaks. Um, where are where is everybody right now? Haley's at home. Um let's see. I should give some more gifts out. Um, if I give Abby the tulip, I can give Haley a daffodil and build my relationship there with them as a start. <coughs> oh, Haley? <coughs> Me, thank you. Oh, that was cute. Oh my god, she looks cute. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get such a nice tan this summer. Bam! S smash her face in with that freaking club. <laughs> I'm gonna get a nice tan this summer. Yeah, well, I'll give you a nice tan. Smash! Here's a bat to your face. I just think it's funny because like I've never had this that I know of so this is like the first time I've like had the club and been able to just like smash everything like that you know Ellie is a picky eater it's so hard to cook for her there you go I think a positive energy from this gift I don't know you why are you talking to me smash I keep like trying to like click for a second line of dialogue or Something like that and doing that. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. But you can't guess what my great grandfather was. A blacksmith. How'd you know? A, a silly clown and a sadistic jerk <coughs> were the other two options. So that's funny. Oh, hi, Geode. Should probably check and see how many geodes they have to turn in. Um, but I can't talk to anybody else. Abby has probably gone to her room by now. Yeah, I can't get to her now. Everybody's inside. I can't get into their houses. So I think I'm going to call this episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed. Um, once again, let me know what you think of the little, you know face graphic down there in the uh, corner there um, and uh, with that I guess I will see you guys BAM just smash the house apart BAM beat the crap out of the cat I guess I will see you guys next time not bad 1355 not bad at all.